Hey there everyone, I'm uh, here today with a Marantz Model 6100 turntable. This uh, this has a few issues. It has uh, the cantilever on the cartridge is bent. The dampener does not move at all. The turntable belt, I'll get a close-up of that, is worn. Uh, so I don't even know what else. That's just from an eyeball look of it. What it's uh, what's wrong with it so far? So I was going to take start off right here, showing you how to remove the platter so you can get to that belt. So you just take this rubber mat off. Now this one was really really stuck earlier, so I had to loosen it up. And the way I did that is I took a little bit of 10 weight sewing machine oil and let it drop down to the shaft to kind of loosen up. I don't really don't like to spray things in there. And then since it was really tough, I took a couple spoons um, with some napkins so I didn't damage the wood. And you get those under there on both sides. <clears throat> and then, so this one will come up pretty easy. But um, these are good little teeter totter cantilevers. And I had it in there, and then I got it to finally, let me get a good spot again, and popped it. So she came off like that. I said that belt was pretty worn, as you can see, just laying down there. <clears throat> so I'll have to get a new belt. And uh, so yeah, we'll get a new Marantz belt. I will set back up to show you how to get to this uh, dampening plunger, because that's what controls your up and down. And as you can see on this one, we, um, it's in the down position. Oh, now it's starting to move. It's going really slow. So it's just gummed up a little bit. So we still need to clean it up. It wasn't moving at all for me earlier. I don't know if you can see, but it is going up and down now. You pull it down, and it slowly goes down. So you want it to go not super fast, but like within like three seconds, because... There's a mute circuit on here, and you kind of want to time the mute with it landing, and uh, so it's not a loud pop on your speakers. So, anyway, I'll be back. All right, I thought I'd show how to take the cartridge head assembly off, and in case someone ever done that. Now, this isn't for every turntable, but these, the most of the Pioneers and your Marantzes, have a little knurled. Uh, thumb nut there and you just turn it and that comes off and you're able to get to everything and as you can see on this one I'm not sure if you can really see it, but see how that's bent. I don't want to try to bend it back So I have a might have to might break right there. So if you just hold on to your cartridge and Pull gently I'm trying to pull gently just a little wiggle back and forth It will Come out so like I said, this isn't for every cartridge, but this will do us. Uh, this was a little loose, I noticed. So we're, once we get the new, the new needle, we'll get the tone arm cartridge gauge out that's proper for this one, and we'll we'll realign this one. So that's going to show in case someone had not taken this off before. Good thing to look while you're down here looking. Make sure all your wires are connected, not broken. And some of them are color coded down here. This one is not. I can't tell if there's little letters there or not. But in your manual, it'll show you which way the blue, white, green, and red go so that you know you're hooked up correctly. All right, I'll be back with another video here. Okay, I was getting ready to flip this over. And let's see here. Let's move the camera up a little bit so you can see a little bit better. And let me zoom out a little bit. Oh, it's like, let me zoom out. So anyway, you want to take everything off that you can. So the 45 adapter. And we have the counter uh, for the skew, for the anti-skate. I'm sorry, not for skew, anti-skate weights over here. I want to take that off too so it doesn't break or get busted. And it's a real thin, thin wire cable thread it's kind of a pain in the butt to get off you just got to kind of work with it and it comes off anyways i'll get it off 
And then I'm gonna flip this over so you all can see what it looks like. Still on the Marantz 600 turntable, have it flipped upside down and uh, kind of showing you what that dampening system is. Um, this arm here has a pivot point. I'm trying to show there's just a plunger or a, a piece that slides through. You wanna make sure that's, that's clean and oiled. You have a, a armature here, you have an armature here. And what's nice about this one here is you can get that dampener with this e-clip right here you can plop that out and that dampener will come out we can clean it add a little uh dampening grease uh which is like this a silicone grease you don't want to put a whole lot in there it's just like a, a a grease that gives it a little resistance to slide back and forth you also have the armatures you want to make sure they're pivoting nice and uh yeah, this one was stuck on there at first, and then I popped it loose. It was stuck on the bottom. So just some tips on that. I will um, plop this out. Like it's just an E-clip. You can see that right there. Just use a small screwdriver and plop that out, and then that piece will come out, and you can clean it. Don't lose the spring. Um, yeah, and there's another E-clip in there that's holding the inner part together, but it's all pretty simple and basic, but that's how... If you have a uh, dampening arm that's going really slow or if it's dropping way too fast, it's slamming, that's because that grease is all gone. But, you know, just go through any little pivot points you want to clean. Make sure that they're pivoting nice and like a little teeter-totter. So I hope that helps somebody there. Uh, if I do some other stuff, I'll show you. But I'm, uh, I, had, I ordered the belt and I ordered the new stylus. And I'll put this video up. That way, if someone has a question before I get those parts in, you can write me and I can try to touch base on whatever your question might be that pertains to this Morant 6100. All right, thanks. Wanted to point out about how loose this belt is. See how this belt, when you get a new belt, it should sit snug along the radius here or the circumference, I guess we'll call it. But look how much slop we have there on this one here. Um, so the new one, it'll be tight along there, but there's still enough elasticity that we'll be able to pull it out like this when we're setting it into it to get around the capstan motor and um, to be the correct tightness to spin at the correct RPM. I'll see if I can get this one back on and we can try and I'll show you what RPM it's spinning at with a really loose belt. Okay, I have a, I don't know if you want to call it a really good one, but it's pretty close. It's just an app you can download called RPM. And uh, you set your phone on the turntable. We'll pick the arm up. Turntable clicks on. Then it'll get up to speed there. And you can see we're about half an RPM slow, 32.8899. So it might hit 33. But we're not going to be at the 33.33, whatever it is, 7.2. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of saying that it's intolerance, but it's that's really not. Let's jump to the 45 RPM and see where it goes at on that. Picking up. It's actually showing pretty good speed, so... Yeah, I don't know. It's making a liar out of me. Let's go back to 33 here and see if it says it suffices for uh, for the 33. Right now, it's within the, the range. So it's a little bit off, but not, not bad. What's it showing? Minus 0.42%. So... Some people might live with that, but I, mean, I already ordered the belt. It'll be here in like six days. Um, I just feel more comfortable getting a new belt for it anyways. And I ordered the new needle. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you that stuff. And um, what I'll do, what else can I do? No, I'm not going to play it right now. I'm going to wait for the new needle. And then we'll set the weight of the tone arm. And we'll get the anti-skate weight back on and uh, we'll give it a test all right 
All right, last little pointer I'm gonna show you in case someone's wondering how it shifts speeds. I will show you, and then I'm gonna post this video that way if someone has questions, I can maybe hopefully answer them. So as you, um, as I showed you where we hooked up, the right side there is our cap stand. And there's an arm, let me turn it back off again. There's an armature right here that will grab the belt. And when we pick 45, it's gonna push it down to the thicker part of the capstan. So that means um, that's gonna be spinning at a faster rate there, which will pick the speed up of this up to the 45 RPMs. Uh, then you bring it back to the smaller side, less revolutions per turn, less spinning of the turntable. Uh, yeah, it's not magic, just mechanical. But uh, so yeah, this will be it. If you have any questions that might pertain to this table, to a 6100, let me know. And that way I can try to include it before I post the final video in a couple weeks once I get the parts. All right, enjoy the day.